you see I'm tracking game here? Okay, sure. Good luck. Road to spare. Arthur. Hello, Charles. 
Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why, well, okay. He's in his tent. Joe. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Hello? Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He uh, lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles, if it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No, come on, don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? 
We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. So, you were saying? Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards up front. If you take one, we'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Two more ahead. I'm down here, one up in the tower. Let's take one each again. Good. A bit further on here. This is the spot.
other two ahead. One each, same as before. Good work. Come on. Wait. I'll make sure the tower's clear. It's okay. Let's go. Another one out there. You got him? I've got this one. This way. Damn it. There's more out front. Go up the tower, see if you can cause a distraction. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. For the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh. I'm fine, I'm fine. Shit! I don't think we're sneaking out of here. Let's use... 
Okay, Arthur. Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. 
Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <clears throat> yeah. I remember you. Lost a bit of weight there, it looks like. You should get yourself over to Smithfield's for a hot meal. If I wanted a doctor, I'd have gone across the street. Of course. I didn't mean anything by it. So how can I help you today? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. 
Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds the nose. Nothing to see. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot him. Excellent. What? Oh! <laughs> Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet. Let's go, boy. Luck's got it in for you today, huh? Ain't nobody got a... Wow. Been a while since you've been back, hasn't it? Real hungry here. Move! Don't feel quite armed enough to go back out there? You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Smart addition. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. That paper boy stays at that post next to my shop any longer, I may lose it. Very dangerous for a gunsmith to snap. <laughs> Thank you. 
The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. Bet that piece could use a personal touch now that you've had it for some time. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Thanks, Mister. My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. 
I'll see what I can do. Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well... You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. No problem. Okay, boy. this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. That sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Just a little Mister. further. you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. What do you Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir.
Hamish, Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up 10 yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lore? Gave you, get her out. I spent years working on that, finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer, making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you he can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting them with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Whoa, what's this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on that. now, Tyrant, I got you. I got you. Come on. <sighs> ah, <sighs> ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Amos! Amos! Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here. Hey. Come on up here. Lost anything? Uh, just my rod. 
<clears throat> Would have gotten my toes, too, if they weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That will be at first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Ah, I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Ah, you lost him. Let's try again. This might be the one cast it. That him? That took. Come on. Bring it in now. Don't let him pull you. Stand steady. Start reeling. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors, then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting, you stop by again. I'm me.